I'm here and I'm gonna tell you why I'm here because I believe in fairness. I believe in fairness as you do and so does Tony's Chocoloni and that's why we're here. Leadership is something that we are all for the first time realizing the massive importance of leadership. And in a scenario where we have a commodity like cocoa, like chocolate, that is adored by the whole entire world. The farmers, the people that make it, the farmers that go and work their land are not contributing to their own pride because of the way the leadership has been dealing with the cocoa industry. Now, I'm no expert, but I do have a point of view as an African. I'm from West Africa, from Ghana, which has a very big cocoa industry, and from Sierra Leone, who has virtually none. The point is that West Africa for a very long time has been exploited. And it's been exploited because to some degree, the leadership has allowed this to happen. It's allowed it to happen to the common man working his fields. Well, this is where we need to address this. This is why I'm a part of it. I can just lend my voice, my beacon, as a mechanism to get in you, the consumer, to go, hey, let me take some note here. Also to get the leadership, and by leadership, I mean not only the leadership in the cocoa industries, the big cocoa uh, producers, but also the African partners. The African partners need to think about the leadership as well. It's because that's where we begin the change, when the leadership recognizes that, hey, you know what? Some people are not benefiting from what we are benefiting from, so we can change that. We can lead a change, and that's what I'm here to amplify. I think it's something that we all turn a blind eye to, sometimes because it's Africa, and people think it's a third world problem, therefore it's nothing to do with us. But the truth of the matter is the cocoa industry is a massive billion dollar industry, which has the ability to change lives, to so many lives, to change the culture of how things are done. Because the industry is so rich. It has the ability, it has the leadership potential to change the way people deal and handle and think about what is fair. Not only what is fair, but how to enrich someone else. Someone that's doing all the work, how do you enrich them with pride for what they've done? Pride in how well the chocolate industry does around the world and yet the place where the cocoa comes from doesn't do as well that's why i'm here i can't consider myself a leader but i can consider myself a voice a voice that perhaps you might relate to for one second of this whole video and say you know what idris might have a point i'm hoping that some part of my message resonates with you i'm expecting the cocoa industries to think about what we're doing to think about what you're doing as leaders and how you can change and help the common man, instill some pride in themselves. I'm thinking about the consumers as well, to think about what you can do as consumers, to think about where this cocoa is coming from and how it happens to bless our tables. Everybody loves chocolate, I do too. But the point is, the way it comes to us isn't fair. And we want it to be fair, we need it to be fair.